this mission, you are expected to make whatever sacrifices are necessary. Even if it costs us the colony. Viola. Axe and I will secure a target Alpha after we enter through the colony shaft. You go in through the skylight with Slash and Night Ray. I'll carry out diversionary tactics. After that, you will confirm target Bravo is secured. Roger. Viola. Yes, sir. Don't let your personal feelings intrude. Over and out. Well, it's time to play. Control of Sector 03 by driving away the flies that scourge our Earth. Still no reaction from Target Bravo. I've managed to get inside the main shaft. Don't forget, Viola. If the target is still alive, you are to withdraw. No, I'll just destroy it. Don't underestimate them, or you'll end up dead. That's what I'm waiting for.
operation. that the target has ceased all functions. You are correct. You did win. Who are you? I am Ada, the advanced battle computer of this Jehuti. I detect that you are not the frame runner who was scheduled to pilot the orbital frame. No, I'm not. I just ran in here while trying to escape. Whoa! I have detected several targets exterior to the hangar, unable to confirm the exact number from this position. Move outside following the direction of the arrow. How do I do that? Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Please! Roger. I will begin explaining. Move. Move forward, backwards, right and left using the left analog stick. The triangle button is to rise or ascend and the X button is to descend. The method of attack differs depending on the distance from the enemy. This is close range condition. This is long range condition. That is all for the explanation of move. I will begin explaining dash and burst. You will begin to dash if you press the R2 button while moving. It is useful when you want to move rapidly and dodge an enemy attack. If you are not moving, you can begin a burst by pressing the R2 button. I will explain how to use burst later. That is all for the explanation of dash and burst. I will begin explaining normal attack. When the target is distant, press the square button, which will fire a shot. In close range conditions, you will initiate a slashing attack by pressing the square button. That is all for the explanation of normal attack. I will begin explaining dash attack. While dashing in a distant condition, press the square button to fire a dash shot. While dashing in a close condition, press the square button to initiate a dash slash. That is all for the explanation of dash attack. I will begin explaining burst attack. While bursting in a distant condition, press the square button to fire a burst shot. While bursting in a close condition, press the square button to initiate a burst slash. That is all for the explanation of burst attack. I will begin explaining guard. Press the R1 button to assume a guard condition, which will protect you from enemy attack. Remember, you cannot protect yourself from a burst attack and throw attack. 
That is all for the explanation of God. I will begin explaining grab and throw. If you are close to an enemy, you can grab the enemy by pressing the circle button. If you are holding the enemy, you can choose which direction to throw him by using the left analog stick. When you release the circle button, the enemy will be thrown. That is all for the explanation of grab and throw. This is the end of the training session. It is dangerous to go out now. Let us get the Metatron ore from the nearest item box. Metatron? What is... It is an essential element of Jehuti. It is needed to automatically repair the body. Before going out, you must first get the Metatron ore. We have obtained the Metatron ore. Completed automatic repairs to the body. Now, following the arrow as indicated, move outside. It is different from the ones we have previously experienced. Please be careful. <laughs> I found you. Get ready. What? The run is forward to the next time. See you again, boy. The target has disappeared. I can detect no sign of vital activity. You mean that everyone is dead? That is correct. Good work, sir. This is Noman to all units. Report your current status. Slash here. I've arrived at Sector 03, and I'll start destroying the nearby buildings. This is Night Raid. I've also arrived at Sector 05. Should I just wait here? Yeah, that's correct. Viola, report your current status. No need for that. You know what happened. 
Don't be so harsh. Your turn will come. Just be patient. Your mental condition has reached a level of minus eight. Your combat operation will suffer substantially at this level. I advise you to take some medication to stabilize your condition. I repeat, your mental condition is declining. The message is being received from a commercial broadcast. I shall patch it through. This is Atlantis. Whoever is aboard Jahuti, can you read me? The unidentified person aboard Jahuti, do you read me? I can understand how you must feel. Listen to me, boy. I saw everything you did on my monitor. I also know that you're just a juvenile civilian, and you've done all of this. But I didn't have any other choice. I was so scared. I couldn't help it. I'm not accusing you of anything. You proved you can operate the system. Listen, I must ask you to do something for us. Can you deliver that orbital frame to our base? What? We are a civilian transportation company, and we've been asked to carry that orbital frame, Jehuti, to Mars. Didn't you see any of our people in the vicinity of Jehuti? I don't know. Alan must have been there. He's the frame runner we sent there. I said I don't know, didn't I? By the time I got there, everyone was dead. I see. He was supposed to operate that frame. Now we need your help. I know you can do it. Please, help us. Of course, I'm talking business. We'll pay you for your troubles. Enough to allow you to live anywhere. Earth, Mars, anywhere at all. Please. No, I don't want to. Listen. No, you listen. I could get attacked again. And who the hell are you anyways? Why do you want this machine so much? You fought well. We're just asking for a little more of your help. Please. I suppose you want me to kill again. Well... I want nothing more to do with any of you. Go kill or whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. I've got to be going. Then a lot more people will die. What? Everybody will die. Your friends, your family, every single one of them. We can't let them get a hold of Jehuti. If they do, it will be the end of this colony. No, it may be the end of civilization as we know it. You must. Please, help us. Move it, Leo! Help, Leo! You say I can, but how? I can't drive this thing. Yes, you can. I saw you do it, and I know you can do it again. Leo! Please. Help us. All right. I'll do it just this one time, but that's all I'll do. Okay, that's all we ask. All right, if you say so. Thank you. But I want you to remember one thing. I will never help you kill anybody. Maybe killing is all right for you people, but it's not with me. I understand. So, we have a business deal. The person in charge is headed to you right now. I can't get through to him, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, what's your name? Leo. Okay, Leo. I'm Elena Weinberg, second in charge of Atlantis. Just call me Elena. I can really trust you, can't I? Well, we don't kill indiscriminately, as you seem to think. Okay, I'll see you later. I will explain the mission plan. The mission is to transport this Jehuti to Mars in preparation for a battle on Mars. First, we need to rendezvous with the civilian freighter Atlantis and leave the colony of Antilia. However, Jehuti has just had an overhaul and therefore has only minimum system capabilities. Jehuti's capabilities will depend on how many function modules we can install. First of all, we need to transplant the necessary modules from the local server in this area. 
Let me indicate the local server with a marker. You are to proceed to that location. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the scouting mode module. It enables us to fight against more than one enemy at a time. A lock-on related operation has been newly added. Let me bring up a window to explain its operation. I will begin explaining lock-on. If you are at a certain distance from the enemy and you press the L2 button, you will lock on to the target. In the lock on condition, you will move around the target. In lock on condition, you can lock on to a different target by pressing the L2 button. Press the L1 button to release lock on. That is all for the explanation of lock on. I will begin explaining escape. If you want to escape from battle, you must first release lock on. After disengaging, steer in a direction away from the enemy. When the escape counter shows zero, it indicates you have successfully escaped. That is all for the explanation of escape. I will begin explaining camera controls. When you are not in a battle condition, the camera moves in the direction indicated by the left analog stick. If you release the left analog stick, the camera faces toward Jehuti. You can also change the direction of the camera by using the right analog stick. When attacking, you can aim at a certain spot by using the right analog stick. That is all for the explanation of camera controls. This is the end of the training session. The module we have obtained allows us to select the command menu by pressing the start button. You can save the current status by choosing save from the command menu. New enemies. Let us avoid unnecessary battles. There is another local server in this area. Obtain the flying mode module from it. Press the start button to view its location on the wide range radar map. The green light points to the local server. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We have attained the Metatron Aura. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Colony damage is increasing due to battle. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the passcode. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position.
We have obtained the program. We have obtained the flying mode module. It allows us to move to other areas by choosing Area Change from the command menu. No! That's... It is Residential Block S02. I assume it is being attacked by orbital frames. Residential Block S02? That's where I live! 